Hello, good morning, and welcome back to another just of the good, the bad, the ugly, the just review show brought to you by the Department of Health Vapors and part two of my review on exceptional vapes. Uh, the three I'll be looking at in this part will be the apple crumble with custard, the lemon tart, and last but not least, their award winning screwball. Have got to say for the red. Any views or opinions you hear during this review are mine and mine alone. I've not been paid to do this review. I did not pay for the product. The product was very kindly sent to me by the guys at Exceptional Vapes. I've also got to state, individual taste setups and of course power levels will alter what you get from a juice. I can only personally tell you what I'm getting myself. My weapon of choice today will be the Drag 2. And that's got the AIM-09 Evo Dripper from Asphalt Dual Coil to 0.22. Just going to quickly go through the labels because they're a little bit different to what they were on their 50 mils. As I was, oh, forgot to state, all bottles today will be 100 mil short fills, and they will be a seven around about a 70 30 VG PG blend. Labels a little bit different on there on their chubby treats range. Tells tells exactly what you're going to be getting in the bottle. So we've got a little warning on this part here. And a very small, very, very small 18 plus symbol up there. Um, only thing I will say about this label is I would have liked to have seen the other warnings on it that are on the 50 mils, short fills. I would like to have seen that on. Actually, there's more information on the 50s than there is on the 100s. And you've kind of got a bit more space in my opinion. So I would like to have seen this info copied onto these. That's my only gripe. Um, as always, the industry standard, chocolate lid, blah, 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 blah. But what do they taste like? Right, well, I'm going to start off... What am I going to start off with? I'm going to start off with the lemon tart. Lemon tart has been a staple flavour since dinner ladies were at Bourne. And they did do a nice lemon tart when it started off. It went a bit weird at the TPD version because obviously there was a flavour in there that they maybe shouldn't have been using. Then mysteriously got a little bit better again when it went to short fill. Oh, also got a state because these are 100 mil short fills. Um, to top these up, you need to add two 18 milligram nick shots, two 18 milligram 10 milliliter nick shots, and that will give you a free. Of course, you can also top this up with 20 mils of VG, and that will give you a zero, 120 of zero. There we go. Now, a load, a couple, a load of these are still a little bit fruit-based. It is nice to get a more desserty set of flavours come through. Right, I'm going to start off at 72 watts, which is 3.7 volts. Here we go. Right. A, this is going to be a cloudy little bugger. Two, there's no throat hit, which is good. Sometimes on some flavours, it, it does give me an irritating throat. Not, and I'm quite happy to say I'm not getting that with this. Wow. Got me. Straight off the bat, you're getting the base of the tart. You're getting the tart's base. Um, which is nice, I can't fault that at all. Lemon does take a little while to come through. There are little spikes of kind of lemon zesty going through that um, that tart base. But it does take the lemon a little while to actually wait for the base flavouring to calm down. It's alright, but it is very very biscuit base type flavour at the moment. And we've got to wait you to just hopefully that gives that lemon a bit of a kick in the arse. Going up in power, going up in heat. The lemon comes through and the lemon comes through really nice. You're still just getting that base just at the beginning. But then the lemon tart element, the filling of it, starts coming through and oozes over that base, which is coating your tongue. This is a lovely tart, which as a resident of Yarmouth is an expression I hear quite a lot. <laughs> A 
as the coils are warming up now, that lemon's coming through even better. It's quite a zesty lemon flavour on that. It's one that's going to make me nom 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 nom. All right, I will go up to 82 now. Or oh, 4.2 volts. I'm just having a quick squirt and all. That's a light. That's a tad. Ah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lovely little dry hair on the camera for everyone there. Oh. Here we go. Right, let's try that again. The lemon is a bit of a power whore. Lemon comes through lovely now. Also, you can't get that. It's come through a bit warmer as well, so it's a nice warm lemon tart. It gives the lemon more of a taste of lemon tart now, so that's zesty. It is kind of more of a... Mm, yeah. Still juicy lemon. You're still getting that afterwards. The lemon does hang around the mouth for quite a while afterwards. Not getting a lot of base. It's more the filling now, higher up. Mid-ground, you've got a happy combination of the both of them. Low down, there's a lot more base with just a hint of lemon. So around about mid-ground for me personally on this. But if you're a fan of lemon, go high as well because that is a really good lemon. I personally think that's better than dinner, ladies. It's a flavour that's been done well. Oh, I know it's a flavour that's been done a lot, but it's a flavour that's been done well, and that's the main thing. So if you're a fan of lemon tarts, give that one a go. As I say, if you want the, a nice blend of both, of base and filling, definitely go for that mid-grind. Higher up, you do kind of get the opposite scales of it. But, like I say, also, it's one you can scale, you can actually dial it into where you want that flavour to be, where you're most happy with it, which is always good. Right, I'll have a blower, and then I shall move on to the apple crumble and custard. We're dry. <coughs> Excuse me. Wow. Where'd that come from? Here we go. Apple tart. Apple tart. Shall be twat. Apple crumble and custard. Going back down to 62. 3.7 volts. Here we go. No fruit hit. Thankfully, an apple flavour that doesn't irritate my fruit. I've noticed that over the years, the ones that I do will take my fruit have gradually gone off the market and not been used by companies, which is great. Getting a lot of apple crumble in this. Not really getting the custard. <coughs> not a film, but... <laughs> hang on a minute. <coughs> don't know where that came from. Um, Tend to find with custards that you do need to give it a bit of warmth for the power for it to come through. I was still on a lot of creamy flavours. I can't fault the apple crumble side of this. There's no cinnamon in it, which is a blessing. Because, <sighs> yeah, you don't mind a bit, but I don't know why a lot of companies cock up cinnamon and just put, even just put in a percentage too much. It's like, yeah, it's kind of taken over. The cooked apples are done just to perfection. Then you get that nice crumble effect going through. You mainly get the apples first, then the crumble comes in. Be fair, it does take that a long while. These are long lasting flavours. Again, like it were in part one, for that part to die down. I'm now, only now getting a hint of custard coming through at the back. So yeah, that custard's going to need a bit of a kick in the arse in the power and stakes. But the apple crumble is nice. I can't fault the apple crumble. Going up to 72. Here we go, 4 volts. A 
of course, with added power, added temperature, added cloudage. Um, custom now is coming through a lot better. It does need a kick in the arse. Get it all at one now. It's like you've got your apple crumble, a big old splodge of custard, and you've just taken a mouthful off the lot. You're getting crumble, you're getting apple, and you're getting a very thick and luxurious custard flavour going on through that as well. Oh dear, this this isn't going to last me very long, guys. Once again, I know apple pie and custard apple crumble. It's kind of a flavour that's been done, but once again, they've done it well. And I'm just getting hungry. I kind of like doing these reviews, but I kind of hate it. When, by the end of it, I just want to eat. I just want to eat loads of desserts and get into a fat fucker. Right, 82. We're going up to 4.2 volts. Higher up, the apple really does take over. Now getting the crumble. And it's kind of not the custard over again. Um, if you really want that custard, it is round right about that mid-range. Because otherwise the apple really does... The apple really likes the power, to be fair. And so does the custard. But the thing is, the apple has overtaken the custard again. I'm now not getting any custard whatsoever. So if you want something with a combination of all three elements of this liquid, go mid-ground. Because higher up you do lose, higher up and lower down you do lose the custard. Lower down it does take a long while for the custard to come through. Higher up it's just blasted out. It's mooted out higher up and you just get the apple crumble. But you're getting more apple with a bit of crumble. Mid ground, this isn't going to last me very long. High, low. I, not for me personally. Right, well that, was it. that brings me to a complete loss of mobility in my mouth. Right, um, that brings me on to the last one now, the award-winning screwball. Yeah, we're dry. Right. Now, I've been looking forward to trying this one. Um, have got a state, um, all these had about a week's steep. Um, I did try them after a couple of days, and they were all right. Um, they did get better after about 72 hours, but then I expect that one, that one anyway, because it's got custard flavour in it. I expect it with this one because it's ice cream, and there's another creamy flavours do seem to uh, appreciate an extra day, an extra day, an extra day's um, steep. Here we go, screwball, back down to 62. Here we go. Oh. This one's mine. <laughs> You're not having it. This one's mine. Um, Cloud production fruit hit. Check, check. They're fine. Absolutely fine. Flavour wise, there's a lot of flavour in this. For those who don't know what a screwball is, I mean, it, it was a child's favourite of mine. Every, every time you'd hear that ding, 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 and you knew the ice cream van was just there, you'd run out of your house to get one. And then you'd run another half or two blocks down the road as he just pulled off, just as you got there. I'm sure we just looked in the mirror going, he's getting close, he's getting close, I'm going to fuck off. Anywho, what basically a screwball is, is a, um, it used to come in a plastic cone, rounded at the bottom, full of ice cream and at the bottom you'd have one or two balls of bubblegum. Oh, I loved them as a kid, I really do. This kind of emulates that really, really well. Um, first we you know, you get an absolute gobful of ice cream right at the beginning. And it's not over sweetened, but it's nice and creamy, but it's not too creamy. And then just as that's starting to die down, the bubblegum comes through. I think there's a hint of fruit in the bubble gum. I, I did detect a, a, a fruity note, but I couldn't quite see. I couldn't actually distinguish what it was. But the bubble gum, uh, with that, you do start to go. Your brain does make your mouth start to chew a bit. And it hasn't been overdone on the bubble gum as well. I hate some of them, where it's over rubber, uh, chemically plastic type. 
bubble gum crack shite as well. Oh. Hasn't been done on here, they haven't overdone it. But I do want to know what that fruit element is. So I've got 72, now I've gone up to 4 volts. I'll tell you straight away now that flavour is orange. Um, wow. Going up and awakening that flavour really alters the, the taste of this juice. The taste kind of um, alters and shifts in your mouth as well, which are really good. Because now you're getting the ice cream and you're getting the orange. So with them two flavours are the main ones you're getting. You're kind of getting an orange sorbet without the fish. You're kind of getting that. Oh, actually, that's quite nice and quite a surprise. Because it doesn't show up on the lower end. Then you get the bubble gum as well. So then you go, oh, actually now I've got orange bubble gum. Oh, actually now I've got bubble gum ice cream. Oh, actually now I've got the lot. It's constantly shifting in the mouth, but it's really, really nice. And I've got to also give them credit. This room smells fucking gorgeous. They always talk about the advantages of vaping. And one of the advantages is it saved me a fortune in Glade plugins. Constantly changing. I say, when you get all of it, oh. But then I'll go to orange bubble gum, then I'll go to ice cream bubble gum, and then I'll go to the lot of it again. And then it, also, wherever your tongue touches the inside of the mouth, you get that one little ping of orange coming up. That's what the flavour keeps on changing. It's another long lasting flavour as well. Every time you exhale out, you get that ice cream again, comes flowing out. Wow. I can see why this won an award. I can quite happily. And. Compared to like when, when you look at some of those award ceremonies and you look at what won and you go, Dinner Ladies won with Lemon Tart again? Really? Oh. You don't want to question the integrity of these awards, but you do look at some of them and think, that's just bollocks. There's better stuff out on the market. <laughs> that orange is so good. The whole lot is so good. Actually, I'm now getting a little fizz on the tongue from the orange. Right, I'm going up to 82. There we go. Going up, it does kind of knock the ice cream into the background quite a bit. But it is a very nice or very nice kind of slightly fizzy orange bubble gum now so this is another one you can play with and you will get different things and different effects and different flavors so that opens up to a wider audience right away there cannot fault that um look forward to seeing these guys exceptional vapes at X vapor expo the fifth anniversary in may um all going well it should be going ahead everything's up in the air at the moment thanks to the coronavirus um, no, I mean, I've been talking to shops, they're now starting to notice it's getting harder and harder to get coils in. It is starting to bite. Some of them have started to go back to work in China, but some still haven't, and the actual distribution chain has been chopped to shit. It's getting a little bit arse nippy on that one. I mean, we, and also, I mean, we haven't got Vape Jam now. Um, Vape Jam's been cancelled because the FSA have change their rule and about what i think it's label if i'm not saying about labels and stuff like that for cbd i know jam normally had a lot more cbd because they are classed as the cbd expo oh and thank jam but they cancelled because uh, just uh, they, they were worried that they the fsa may raid the event and then just say right well, you're shut down you're shut down pull them take that out take their stock and it makes the event look a bit shit <laughs> So they've cancelled, so I don't know how much that's going to affect Vapor Expo. And we don't know how long this coronavirus is going to drag on for, because it's fucking up events left, right and centre. <coughs> All going well in May, I should see you there. <laughs> Anywho, on that note, um, if you have enjoyed what you've watched today, please remember to like, share, comment and of course subscribe to the channel. My Ugly Mug will be appearing here very, very shortly. Give it a slap. And give us a sub. So on behalf of myself, Darren Stone, I bid you all a very good morning and I'll see you soon for some more reviews. Take care, people.